Hi guys, how you doing? I was down at the gym fairly recently and, and it struck me that I, a little while ago, I recorded a lot of little uh, practical drills uh, related to classical pugilism that you could do on your own, at home, you could copy and, and it might be fun to, to record a few more of these. But then I realised I couldn't actually remember which of the things that I tend to do I'd recorded and which I hadn't. So I started doing a little bit of housekeeping and going back through the channel and looking at the old drills that I'd put together. And, and it struck me that they were really quite tricky to find. So what I made the decision to do at that point is to re-edit them and instead of having lots of very short videos scattered throughout my YouTube channel is to put them together so you've got two or three drills in one video and create a new playlist so that if at any point you want to find these drills, they're easy to do so. Um, I hope that makes sense. And I, I, I hope it's as helpful as it feels like it should be inside my head. So this is the first video. There are two drills in this video and I've labelled them both individually and I hope you enjoy them. So uh, with that, get drilling guys. Take care. Now, if you've been following my videos, you'll know that I'm, I'm a big fan of what Dempsey called the drop step or the falling step, what Alanson Wynn called leading off as a method of power generation for a straight lead hand punch. Right? Nice and simple. It's a much more powerful punch than a boxing jab. It's not used to set things up necessarily, but it's used as a, a powerful knockout punch in its own right. And effectively, way, the way we do that is we throw it from a position where we are already in reach of our opponent. We can't throw this from over here and expect it to hit by leaping in behind it. This isn't the boxing equivalent of a fencing lunge. This is a punch that's thrown from the place where you can act without the need to step. So I can throw this without having to step. Now, if I just throw it, then what happens is I throw it with the power of my shoulder, my chest, my body, my core, my arm, and I can get a relatively powerful punch from that but it's unlikely to be a fight-stopping blow. So what we need to do is just gently drop our weight. We do that by lifting our front foot slightly and dropping our weight. I'm summarising, there's lots of videos on this, go back and check them out. And what that does is it allows us to get a much more powerful punch. But what I thought I'd do is show you something that I've, I've used a couple of times, which is quite an effective way of closing to grapple. I like to grapple, I wrestle as well as practice pugilism. So getting close to my opponent under the cover of striking is something that I want to do. So exactly the same play, way, we're, we're in our pugilistic guard, we're within reach of our opponent, so we're in the place for this lead hand punch, and we're gonna throw it exactly as we did before with our body weight dropping as we throw it, okay? But what we're gonna do this time is we're actually gonna gather forwards a little too, and that allows us to get in close. The step doesn't affect the speed of the punch. So they have to deal with the punch, or I'm gonna hit them really hard and end the fight. If they don't deal with the punch, I won't. If they do deal with the punch, and that either doesn't land, or it doesn't land cleanly, or they manage to block it, I'm already moving in, so I'm getting the place to grapple with them, to come to a clinch. Here, I can't grab, I can't clinch with them at this range. I can strike, but I can't hold on to them and get them into a clinch where I can potentially go over dominate. What I have to do is step forwards. But if in a fight I just step in to try and get to that position, they're gonna hit me. So I have to do it under the cover of a strike. So what we're gonna do is our lead hand strike with our drop step, our lead off, and we're gonna actually gather forwards as we do it. So we keep the stance exactly the same, we keep everything square, we come from here and we go. And when you're practicing this, what you'll want to do is throw it out, you're going to hit the bag, the bag's going to move away from you. It will be unpredictable, you won't know exactly what direction it's going in. 
So what I want you to do is the second you hit it, is get hold of the back. Get one arm all the way around the back, you can see, this arm's around here, and get this one here. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to try and cover this arm that they've got, and we're going to push our ear up against the back. And that's all, that's all we're going to do. We're going to go to that. So we're going to land a strike with a drop step. We're going to close under the cover of our strike. We're going to grab the bag and we're going to hold it at that point. And that's a really nice, simple trick. Try this with your training partners. Get, get it together, start off in your piece of gun up, throw a punch, get them to either slip it or block it, but close behind and grab. And try and get them in a nice clinch. We're looking for something like a collar and elbow. If you can, if you want to, you, what you can do from here with a training partner is as soon as this hand comes around, you can step through and cross buttock them over onto the floor. And then you go off and you have your break, you have your, your, your flag in a bale, you have your 30 seconds, you come back up to scratch, and you're good to go again. Hopefully they're not. Anyway, just a quick technique. Thought you might like to see it. I'll see you again soon. Take care, guys. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, I'm back down at the gym, so I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to record another little drill that I do um, with the bag. It, this is going to start off in a very similar way to the previous one, if you saw that before, the, the lead off to, to flinch. Uh, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to stay at, at striking distance rather than close in. And we're going to look at a two strike combination with our lead hand but we're going to rotate lead, so we're going to alternate leads. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a right lead. I always start with a right lead, it's just the way I fight. Very on English, I know. And we're going to start on our pugilistic guard, and we're going to throw a straight lead hand punch, vertical fist, uh, centre two knuckles, falling step, dropping weight onto that knee. There we go. That's part one. Okay, we've all done that before. Plenty of videos on it in. Uh, in my channel and other people. Check them all out. Um, so we're going to start with that and once we've thrown that what we're going to do is we're going to step around the bag and we're going to swap leads. But as we do that we're going to throw a rolling back fist. So one of the few round blows that we come across in early pugilism. Uh, Mendoza used to do it, Slack used to do it, various champions have been very skilled at using these and you're beginning to see them creeping into MMA now, which is quite nice. You see quite a lot of the fighters throwing a punch and then just throwing a back fist off the back of it. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to throw that lead, and then we're going to go around as we throw that. And you'll see that at that point, I'm now left lead. So we're going to throw that, and then we're going to move around with a back fist. And it really is as simple as that. One, two. And you can use this in a variety of ways. You can use it by staying right at the edge of your striking distance. One, two. And we're right at the edge there. We can use it as a way of breaking ground, of getting out of distance. So we can throw that, that one there and we can move around. Uh, we can move and you can see straight away that I'm way out of distance now. So we can use it as a way of escaping if we're, if we're struggling, we're moving sideways, we're getting offline and we're striking. Or indeed you can use it to close if you so wish. You can punch, you can step in on the other side. So we're here, we're, we're in grappling distance. For a modern competition, um, as long as we're taking out the rule about a knee touching the ground being the end of the, the round, this would be a perfect position if we've managed to get past their hands, their slightly side on, to shoot down for some kind of takedown, be it top of a single, high crotch, whatever you want to do. So, really simple technique. One, two. Simple as that. One punch, one back fist, change guards, one punch, one back fist, and you come back. And you can roll that through again and again and again, and perhaps it with both hands. As Mendoza says, the most important thing is to be a master of equilibrium and be able to use both of your hands equally. So I hope this has been uh, entertaining. 
informative, or just amusing. Don't mind. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.